Hello everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today, we have the European Historical Rules event. It should be a good one as we have Dunker Church again. We've seen it a lot and it's here again, but in the EU style, you're seeing an overview of that. And you're also seeing an overview of our second map, Hills Counterattack. Two great matches. There's some new rules that'll be explained at the beginning of this broadcast. And thank you to our YouTube members for the support. If you'd like support, go beneath the video, hit the join button, and you can see all the perks there. And with that out of the way, our teams for today, on the Confederacy, we have the 2nd United States Cavalry, 28th Pennsylvania, 59th New York, New York Volunteers, 4th New Jersey, 13th Georgia, 2nd Corps, 20th Georgia, and the Shenandoah Regulars. Whereas on the Union team, you have the 3rd South Carolina, Colquitt's Brigade, Army of Northern Virginia, Hayes Brigade, Hood's Division, Jenkins Brigade, Jackson's Division, and the Lee's French Legion. And with that being said, I hope you enjoy this event. And here we are live on the battlefield. The first round here for Historical Rules event will be great. Dunker Church uh, today announcing we have cornered back. Hello. And then there's myself as Guardian Eagle. So a couple quick things. Uh, they added two new rules to try to make this more of a line battle type of event. And so bayonets cannot be fixed until either side or one of the sides hits engaged, which is the next ticket morale stage. And then... Uh, the next rule is no one can sprint before the 30-minute mark. So if you see different things happening compared to last week, that is why. Um, speaking of numbers, uh, we have about a 233-man server. Uh, about even. Union has three more, but of course we're spectating, so those numbers count to the Lord's sides. But Actually, they don't anymore. They don't? I thought they did. No, they changed it. Huh. Fair enough. <clears throat> so the confederate defense defense plan as of now uh they've spread themselves really far out having guys on the right the left and in the center yeah i mean that's really it they have some artillery in the middle uh, and some infantry in the back unions kind of doing this very spread out attack sending guys to the left they're they're uh it's so long for them to get over here because they can't sprint I'm curious if any of them are going to get into melee. Yeah, especially when they can't have bayonets on it and they can't sprint. Typically, when this kind of rule uh, is in place, it'll be like uh, within 25 yards you can sprint or something like that. So the melee isn't just double click the loser. I, I wonder if um, groups might be more aggressive if no one has bayonets because they can get a lot closer and not necessarily have to worry about losing a lot of people. I don't yeah. know. Because we see uh, 2nd U.S. Cav, 13th Georgia. We have the 88th New York here as well. This is so weird. LFL is not engaging. They're just kind of hiding. Oh, they're aiming. Can they can fire? They not see each other? They, no, they know they're there. They know L LFL knows they're there. But they haven't moved up yet. Well, a couple of some of the Union knows they're at. Some, some of them see it. Oh, well, we have we have Mr. Max here. A beautiful shot by arrows, but um there's some Union more pushing up, they're pushing up guys in the center. Uh, 20th Georgia here. The Confederates just falling back right away. Confederates on the right side are starting to pull back off that flank. Who is shooting all the way back here? It is uh, 4th New Jersey and the 59th New York. Let's have bus here. I mean, yeah. I mean, these really these first ten minutes are, is really just everyone's just gonna be sitting back and kind of shooting. There's no other way to really describe that. I guess we could, I, cause like here's the thing: you take away the bayonets, the charges are still even. It's just instead of two stabs to kill someone, it's uh, three. Yep. So I mean, they could still easily charge. It's just it would be. Uh, it actually kind of be funny to watch a charger too. Uh, you could see Killer here in HD. They're pushing really far forward. They're trying to get a flank on the Union here. Uh, they're gonna have beautiful shots if Union doesn't move from behind that hill. 
Why aren't those Union guys moving? They're just standing there, watching it happen. Pretty easily moved behind that hill. The uh, CSA. No, uh, the Union. Oh yeah. Shooting at. Out of the second core right there. Union starting to shift guys from the top of the hill back here. <laughs> second core. I I don't know why they're standing. These guys on the right need to start shifting left a little more if they want any cover, but. 20th Georgia Knife Corps up top. The Union have kind of fallen back, I think, to get better positioning in terms of defense against LFL so they aren't hit on the flank. More Confederates moving in from the house area. Um, that being Hayes Brigade. So is artillery see. firing it? Yes. Artillery has fired a little bit. I don't know how, to what effect. Hopefully it's better than what we saw the other night at the NA event. Uh, <laughs> which, if you don't know, the whole Union team was stacked up on this nipple here. And their U friendly artillery was just team killing all of them. And the artillery did not realize it was happening. Their officer thought it wasn't happening. I think with this cannon right side of the church, the CSA used to shoot at the, the the union that's on the right there. It's firing up the hill. Oh. Let's turn that gun to the right and you have shots that you'll hardly ever find in a regular game. Yeah, I this position for artillery is bad. Oh, look, look, I look down the road to the right. That's an easy target. Oh, I see what you mean. Okay. Uh -huh. no, that's not. That's okay. The gun ain't there. Ain't there yet, but. Uh, yeah, no, that wouldn't be that bad of a shot That's there. We're reporting live. Yeah. Boss. <laughs> a surprise appearance. Boss is here. That's not. That's unexpected. I'm uploading the video for yesterday in Google Drive, and this match is going insane so far. I Shooting, and death everywhere. For some reason, Boss, I had you at two hundred percent. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Be really loud. I, know, I, why I, could, I could hear him, but he wasn't in the Discord call. <laughs> I know I'm like hovering over some lines, and I just hear. <laughs> so, Bus, is there any introduction you'd like to give yourself outside of that? I'd like to give myself an introduction. Uh, Hans.org. I'm only going to be here for five minutes because I have a Beacoff campaign I have to do. <laughs> oh wow! Okay. Yeah. But uh, I'd like to say congratulations to Corded for finally coming back. No, oh, yeah. Thank you. And um, and thank you, uh, Jesus Christ. You know. Amen. <laughs> Amen. So, uh, Jenkins Brigade's pushed really far forward. They're shooting at Union artillery. Um, you know what's quite interesting? Uh, these 28th PVI guys. They're like trying to hit them their flank. What's very interesting is when you looked at the uh, Union Scrat sketch, uh, which if you don't know what that is, it's the um, a website they use. It has a 2D field of the map, and you can like draw over it and see where um, you want to go, plan all that fun stuff out. JB is charging here before the 30-minute mark. Unbelievable. That is unfair. JB, unbelievable. Uh, they are... Yeah, they can... They can charge, I think, but they can't. No, they can charge. Or have minutes. No, they can't sprint. Yeah, I mean, when you think about it, they can still charge. It's just going to be a, a different type of charge. A lot of NCO out. markers. A lot of NCO and a lot of lot of officer markers. Oh, I I mean, I would still charge if I were in this. It'd be it'd be very funny to watch. That might that might make it up. That would be very funny. On twenty ninth or ninth course flags goes down. Second core pushing back out here. Taking shots at A and V. I don't know why they're taking shots in the middle of the open field. Um, 
regardless A and V's repositioning. But the bot the scratch shots, the Union thought CSA was going to hold on this big uh, snake fence that we've seen them hold all game. And um, I've Not never working seen... out for Union right now. They're getting uh, molly wild. But I've never seen the CSA pull out that far in this map. I've never seen them start there, at least. I've seen them kind of do it once, once Union's kind of sitting behind that hill and got good flanking shots that way. Otherwise, you wouldn't want to be there. A lot of blood right here. Is that gun been firing over here? Oh yeah, it is. No. I think a lot the of Union got destroyed down. by a big cannon shot on the left side. Shot again. Five. Oh, Another one. Shot, but they if the 59th and 13th just moved right out of the way, so that was just lucky timing. Um, who's who's adjusting in the woods? It is the third South Carolina and Colquitts. They are together for this battle. Fourth New Jersey shifting further left. So will the artillery readjust? I mean, it definitely looks like they got some hits. It was great. Uh, we're past the 30 minute mark. Bayonets can That's be fixed. It. Bayonets can be fixed. Sprinting is still not available. No, you can't. You have to wait till someone's at engaged. Oh, I screwed up the rules. Oh, well, the server said you can sprint. Oh, you yes. can sprint. Sprinting's but at 30. You can't. You can't Bayonets do something is not else. engaged. Right. Ah, oh, okay. I, I, I messed that up in my head. You, there. Got, you guys are terrible hosts. I know. We should we should quit. This is going over to. Uh, this is the bus channel now. Mm hmm. Correct. I'm going to upload it on it once a month. Once a month. Make, make big money. Big money. Big money. It's like the YouTubers that make a second channel. Correct. We'll make a uh, Hell Let Loose only channel. <laughs> this is this is such a weird match of dunkers. A little bit like this fighting here. I I've, I've no reason seen. to judge, man. Ooh. I will do as I please. I, this Cavetta artillery is destroying the Union over here. Uh, right, I gotta go. Good luck, boss, you. with your campaign. Thank you. Bayonets can be fixed! Yeah! Mm. Buses, leaves, and bayonets can be fixed. A good trade, indeed. No, no bad trade, bad trade. <laughs> <laughs> Buses. <laughs> Bus might look bad, but that's funny. But, um... Union hitting engage first. Confederates kind of close. I mean... The the new rule set for the bayonets thing has really um and the no sprinting really hurts the attackers. Mm -hmm. Cause you already have to wait five minutes to start the round and that's very detrimental to the attackers already. CSA just might win this. We'll see though. I think they can. They have lots of time and lots of tickets. And Union's not not appearing to want to be any more aggressive. They just kind of want to sit back and shoot. Now, if I was second core here, I'd hop the fence and kind of back down the road a little bit because they got a defoid there. They do indeed. Just fired on the road. Well, they're... How did that gun hit <clears> that <throat> shot? What? But because... Okay, I guess I can kind of see it. It's just they're like, they're a little defilated, so that's like, that's a heck of a shot. Yeah. CSA artillery is doing good. Um, Union's starting to shift further into the woods on this left side. Um, Fourth New Jersey. But I guess artillery in these type of events has the advantage that everyone likes to be in big lines and not move a whole lot. Well, a lot of times they have to be. That is true. So you, you have to be a good target for artillery. So let's see. Are we going to see a... Let's see here. 4th New Jersey, 59th New York, 88th New York up here. They outnumber CSA. I don't know if they know that. LFL here as well. Um, I mean, they could wipe them, but of course they probably don't know if they outnumber them or not. 
Right in front okay. of us. Okay. Okay. Northwest. Looks like they're, they're just gonna west. kinda shoot in the woods. Oh, you guys on the left side. Yeah, 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 yeah I think he's shifting me. left, guys. Alright. 13th Georgia, Georgia here as well. More CSA shifting over, trying to help. Uh, you have 3rd South Carolina, Colcutt's Brigade. Getting a nice flank, getting a hit or two. Uh, pulling back into the woods. More CSA pulling up. That's most of Colquitt's there. On the left side, someone's charging. Second, U.S. Cav wants the third South Carolinian dead, and they're going to make that happen. And after 15 and a half minutes of fighting, the Confederates now go into engage. And what is LML doing? What are they doing? pushing up. They want action. They're getting it. They're a bit outnumbered, though. They're, they're a tad outnumbered. Yep, the forest is where the Union gets the most of their tickets, in my opinion. Oh, well, uh, Colquitt's Brigade came in and uh, took out 2nd U.S. Oh, they did indeed. And the Union's losing this game by a lot, ticket-wise. And LFL is still living here. I don't know. I don't think they have flags. So, oh, never mind. They do. They do. Matoshe out in front, if I even said that right. Um, nothing really happening on the, the other side of the map. It really just looks like a couple CSA groups, tinier groups, at least from what I can see. That bottom group's a little big, but uh, it's holding off a lot of the Union team. It's almost as if we're on Cook's counter charge with the uh, map extended all the way over there. Which actually would be kind of cool, um, but. Uh, what you want the CSA to be able to flank you more? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, JB, I think this, or maybe JD. Uh, nope, it's JB. We got Schumacher here, uh, charging these poor second core guys, and they're gonna start running away. The big question, where did A and V go? I hope A and V is just holding up top there. And they wipe them. Oh no, the artillery position has been overrun. What's, Union's pushing what's, further what's the, the what's the 70 yard rule? There's a 70 yard rule? They, they typed in the server that JB that's over 70 yards. Oh, maybe they can't go like more than that mile away from the point. Yeah. That's, that's weird. LFL is charging. Some of the LFL guys don't have bayonets still. Nice kill on the officer, uh, but LFL is essentially white. Um, ticket margins getting a bit closer. CSA's flanking from behind, though. This is probably Colquitt's and 3rd South Carolina. They took the very position that the Union's... I don't know why they're going into the woods. Just hold on the fence and shoot them. Brilliant. Thank you. <laughs> CSA's outnumbered here, it looks like. Ooh, actually... It's kind of close. They are. Both sides are kind of just sitting. <laughs> this is all we heard. All these guys are just reloading. <laughs> it's a, a weird sight to see. Not terribly surprised, though. Fourth New Jersey's not moving anywhere. They, I, they gotta move soon. Yeah, these guys should. This is such a weird encounter. Fourth New Jersey, 88th New York. They're getting now. They're getting charged, uh, and while they're getting their reloads in the woods, uh, and this is going to be a beautiful wipe here from Third South Carolina and Colquitt's Brigade. That ticket margin definitely increasing. Something's happening on the other side of the map. Uh, Union yeah. appears to be charging. Uh, JD holding here. I see some HD tags or HB. I don't know. A knight is here um, against second core. As of now, the Confederates holding, but more Union pouring in. That being the 20th Georgia. 
Yeah, I like holding this left side of CSA. Exactly. I have. Yep. I'm surprised we haven't seen Union push this side more often. Confederates going in for the flank. That's my guess. A and V. They know. They know they're gonna hit him <laughs> in the flank. Here we go. <coughs> Tar Gray and his men. Don't judge him. He's level 100. Uh, they're white. They white two flags here. They're about to get the second flag. Um, and although Union appears to be winning on this fence, A and V is gonna come down from behind and probably white this group. I think the CSA now the rook can hold by themselves. At the very least, they still have their flag. They do. Cloud's running. Well, he probably doesn't have his loads anymore. Knight going down. But A and V's coming. They're hitting him in the back. Uh, and these Union guys just don't even know what's going on. Now, once, this, once this Union group is wiped, they're going to be three flags down by the Union. I think all four are down. Oh, oh wait, no, wait, one's gonna get because they they had two on the right, the CSA right. Wait, there's two flags here, three. Then, wait, three? Oh, yeah, just, wait, that must one of them must be glitched. Because there, I thought there was two Union flags over here. There are. Huh. There's two and three, so someone must have accidentally got two. <laughs> Union's hacking. Oh, well. Ban them. <laughs> <laughs> They're all down. That's crazy, and it makes sense for the Union to go down this right side just so they can get those flags. Um, and I'm guessing this is A and V. A and V's holding here. Um, off in the distance is nearly the whole Union team. They got wiped, so they're able to reform and kind of hit them again. Communicate. Second U.S. Cav in 13th Georgia on the right side. Um, fourth New Jersey. 88th New York pushing down the center. Um, a couple of unions still moving in. Probably the guys who we just saw get white, 20th Georgia, and 2nd Corps. I think they're going to have to early cap at some point. Yeah. I don't think they can, I don't think they can give them to breaking in 18 minutes. It's been a little quicker, but... I mean, they spend 15 minutes knocking down one stage. It's been seven, a little over seven minutes since that. And unions wait, it appears they're waiting for their whole team before they go. And that's the thing about this event is the CSA guys on the right don't know what's going to happen on the left. Um, the question is, will they go? But we know who is going. The union's going now. Yep, second core. Zio Panama leading the way. Go Zio. Some of the Union volleying in the open field, getting one kill, maybe two. Uh, but A and V is going to be destroyed here, unless they get some support. They're getting a little bit. It's going to be a little far out. HD is starting to come in. And HB is coming up behind them. There's HP coming up the second fence. There they are. Good number. Pushing in. A lot of the Union holding back still. What is uh -oh. this? That's not good. So, second core charged in, which is great. But they all died because their teammates didn't come help them. Now, I mean, 4th New Jersey, 80th New York, they're coming in 10 years late. These guys are all going to die. More Confederate reinforcements. Hayes Brigade moving in. Um... What a disaster. And these guys are still forming up. And the Confederates have bolstered their numbers by a lot here. Thanks to the help of HD and HB. Are they going in now? Jeez. I don't think they're going to go in now, maybe. Oh, oh no, they're going forward. So, yep, Hudson from 2nd U.S. Cav. Um... And it looks like the rest of the Union's moving in as well. Holding their shots so they get close. Why are they double ranking in the distance and shooting? 
fed artillery getting maybe a kill or two in the back, but I don't get what Union's doing. They gotta charge in, or if they're gonna shoot from a distance, get up against the snake fence. Uh, Confederates going down to taking losses. 20th Georgia in SR in second US. Oh my Cavalry. gosh. They gotta go in. They can't just sit back. Don't worry, you can now sprint. It's past the 30 minute mark. You can at least double quick. <laughs> They're slowly trickling in. They they want it's like they want to lose oh. tickets. This oh, it's almost a half stage difference now. <laughs> Second core now coming back after dying. 59th New York, 13th Georgia. But no, they're... Oh, actually, this might be... No, nah, they're going to lose. No. no. And, uh, North Carolina and Culper Spray is coming back in, too. They're coming oh, yeah, in from oh, the there. middle. Oh, looks like they're going to flank around the Union. Looks like they are. Wow. Such a huge opportunity for the Union gone. That, that's sad to see. Very frustrating as well, so you're in that situation. These guys have been pretty, had a pretty aggressive defense, at least on the middle and right side. Port New Jersey, uh, the New York Volunteers coming down the middle, trying to take the hill from JB. What is going on? And GB falling back. JB. What did I say, JD? You said GB. Oh. There's too many of these dang acronyms. Mm -hmm. Everyone should JD, just. JB, GB, HD, HB. Start merging regiments. There's like, I think, 20 regiments in this event today. I'm not even including the ones in like 2nd Corps or HD. Good artillery shot. I killed two, though, and knocked over a couple. That's crazy. You hit right in the middle and. Only get a couple and they're gonna fall back. Uh, Colquitt's though, yep, they're coming in the middle to kind of stop them. Back on this left side, everyone's kind of entrenched shooting. A and B has returned. But Union's gonna get destroyed. Uh, these are, it should be easy shots for the Confederates that are here. They're all kind of clumped up around these flags. Oh. Wow. Where did, where did Colquitt's and them go? Colquitt's went the, to the, uh, the back middle. Oh. Yeah, they're, they're pushing the New York Volunteers back. So, Union has four flags over here. Who is it? Oh, Second Corps has two flags. Oh, oops. Thanks for using me as cover, Lewis. I think only really one works at a time, so. That might be the case. Oh, Matt, Matt's taking one of the flags back to die. The one that doesn't work, or? Uh, well, he's taking back one of the duplicates to spawn. Oh, okay. We did what we to do. Here he goes. Okay, okay. Hold position here, hold position here. A walk of shame. The independent flag, a beautiful shot. Looks like more and more Union are starting to go down the middle. I think they know they got an early cap, or nothing's going to happen. Do they? Do the Europeans like the early count? I don't even know if they're allowed to. They might be. <laughs> Beautiful Union. I don't know. I don't know these rules. Yeah, I don't know. If they can, they should. I know they probably can. We saw. I think last week they did. I don't remember last. Uh, there's. I'm, like, sure, I'm sure they. I'm sure they can. I watched but... so many events and I forget what happens. Apologize for that. But it looks like uh, we have second US. They're kind of cutting across this open field here. Warren Union following, that being the 20th Georgia. The rest of the Union's though going to that left side. CSA pushing out from this back air, that being JD. And A and V, they're kind of cutting across. They're going parallel of the Union. Union's kind of turning here. It's 
Phase A so far has done a really good job at reacting to where the Union goes and kind of shifting their lines to meet them. Which is, you know, how you're supposed to play this map. Exactly. Especially when you don't have a Steam chat. Yes. A and V looks like they're trying to get further around them, join JD. The rest of the Union, though, is kind of booking it. They're going right in the open field. They're not going far left or to the right. Uh, right meaning the rocks in this case. A and V is focused on the Union group over uh, in the distance. So Union's going to get a chance to charge this hill out um, against Colquitt's at third SC. And they're just going to fall back. Uh, they could win that fight very easily. But I don't know why they were treating. I don't think they could have won it easily. Uh, yeah, they, were, they, were out, they were out of loads. Uh, a lot of the second floor guys still had their loads in. Uh, fair it enough. It'll be a tough melee to win. So, it looks like A and V's turning around. Um, they're going to start shooting the... Uh, Union in the open, but Union Art. This is a Union artillery dream. Confederates are just holding right down this road. Something you don't normally see. Uh, at, at least uh, where A and V is, it's tough to see it from Union because there's a little bit of a, oh, a hill in the way. I think. No, you're right. Uh, hills and bushes, but we're um. I think the, uh, third South Carolina and Colquist. It's a, a, a little easier to see. Cause that's like right beneath that nipple there and mo i assume most units have that pretty locked in and they can just set the elevation a little lower and they'll be good indeed jb is pushing up to the rocks on this hill um a and v kind of going around distance union hitting breaking uh holding on the far right lfl they're just kind of taking shots from a distance and Union officer turning around? Huh. That's interesting. I think LFL could probably move up to that uh, a straight fence that's kind of like that T-junction. Oh, yeah, they could. It's kind of on the hill. And speaking of which, they might be doing that right now. I think they're just going to go in the open field. <laughs> Actually, how far will they go? Oh, no, you're right. Uh, Union's starting to go to the point, though. Uh, some of those Union guys fell back off the hill. That was where that officer was going. Second core, wanting to make something happen. Colquitt's moving in with get, South Carolina. We're going to get him killed as well. Let's see if coming out of the woods. Uh, A and V moving in as well in that charge. Fails on the left side. Well, we have a CSA moving forward. That being Hayes Brigade. I don't know why you're moving forward like this. You're going to lose this. Yeah, they're definitely not going to win the fight. Um, the King kind of weaken that group a little bit so they're not likely to push up. There's no one else here. Right. I don't know why they did that. The only thing they did do was cause their team to possibly go into breaking. I, I but you do have uh, Hood's division holding back in the woods, so it's not the end of the world. I mean, the likelihood I think that Union takes this point within the next six and a half minutes is very low. Mm -hmm. Listen, they still have all their flags up, so they they definitely still could. If they just get together, that's all they really need to do. LFL charging out. In the open, they're going to charge up the top of this hill here. This isn't as bad as the Hayes Brigade charge, but a little risky trying to go your team into breaking. But, I mean, CSA is held all firm defense all game, so. I don't I think it's that bad if they want to take this hill and hold it. It's going to be, uh, I think you can might be thinking of trying to go to the center hill to regroup and if the csa is already there there they might hesitate to do that and like that's true it's like kind of put, push push out of that hill just strung out like they have been like they do on the right side uh it looks like group on the left to your left uh 20th georgia and some of the ninth corps guys 
end up on the road. Starting to go down the middle. I think that Union flag is glitched there. I think people can still spawn in on it. Um, 20th Georgia going to the corner nipple here. Um, JB got, yeah, nice hit. Uh, but it looks like LFL is going to try to hit these guys from behind. They know they're there. Union on that corner. They're not moving yet. Yeah, right now, they're not on point either way. They don't have any support. So that's just not really going to do much. And they're just going to get eaten up. Some of the Union on the right is coming in. The 2nd US. 2nd US and 13th Georgia. Coming down the road. But the uh, 9th Corps 20th uh, Georgia group got white. Hood's division moving to that corner position now. Uh, you do have Union shooting in the distance. Four and a half minutes left. More Union pushing up to the center of rocks here. Union's got to go in. Well, they've got a good opportunity to kind of uh, do this two point attack. Second corner, 13th, and they don't go at the same time, but they're going one after the other. What the heck? Did the second US Cav not tell the other group they were going, or did that other group just not listen? More CSA pushing in A and B. Wow. Union's getting. It's gonna be a good time for some Union artillery. Really would. Yeah, they can probably. If someone on that already can probably see that, uh, that they're losing that right now. A and B counter attacking, um, pushing the Union out. And Union's essentially wiped. They have a couple guys in the center. Uh, these guys on the right are still there. Which I don't know why you're over here at this point in the match. It's on the ground right here. Hey, we're, we're, we're still, we're still but we can spawn on it. We're still the now it's in Have you seen that glitch recorded, or were people still? I've, still I've, I've heard about it. Um, it, it has. I know. I know it was reported, and Trusty said they'll they'll fix it. So, it will be fixed eventually. It will be fixed. Yeah, hey, there's another one. Um, which why are they why are they still holding over here? All right, for the trusty, make a line on first lieutenant left after load. I I don't know. I mean, there's not that many of them, but every bayonet counts in a charge at the end here. Second core reforming in the center. Oof. <laughs> but Union starting to move out in piecemeal. Uh, piecemeal with their groups, though. So, 20th, Massachusetts from 9th Corps. Why is the second core guy running? Oh, he's, he's... It's a duplicate flag. He's just going to lose it up there. Cool. <laughs> Uh, moving up on the right side, you have 20th Georgia. Or, uh, yeah, no, 20th Georgia. I was gonna, for some reason, I thought I said it wrong. A minute and a half here. 20th Georgia, I like that they're being aggressive. It's just they're all by themselves. And here comes a, a little bit of CSA. Yeah, unions all spread out once again. It's just, it's not going to work that way. Your timer says like a minute. Mine's at 40 seconds. Huh? What? Strange. <laughs> Mine's at 42 seconds. <laughs> I'll be intrigued to see when the, uh, the match ends then. Uh, JB charging out into those center what? rocks. Was the rest of the CSA coming in. Yep. Uh, that'd be in Cold Goods Brigade and LFL. They're, they're easily going to win that. 
Uh, more of the CSA pushing out out here. About 30 some seconds left. Union's gonna hit final push. 15 seconds left. Oh, wait. My, is it is your clock at like seven seconds now? Yep. Ah, uh, that's uh, okay. That's interesting. Hmm. And the round's over. Congrats to CSA. Uh, it's not like Union did themselves any favors, but. Recorded your thoughts? Well, uh, that rule really hurts the attackers, as we've seen right there. Um, and even when it kind of switched back to our normal rules, where you can have bayonet and sprint and all, uh, we saw that the Union charges couldn't really get together as one big group and go at the same time. Uh, and that just kind of got eaten up by the CSA defense. Yeah. I mean, you're most organized in an event like this at the beginning, and when you have all those limitations as the attackers, that can be very detrimental, um, just as Cord had said. But, yeah, good first round. Uh, congrats to the CSA. Uh, they, they basically did exactly what they needed to do. Um, we'll see what happens when they have to attack next round, though. With that being said, we'll see you in the second round. And here we are live on the second round. Hills counter attack. We'll see if the CSA can organize a better attack than the we, what we saw from the Union last round. Some of those Union guys just aren't moving. Oh, now I get it. Yep, yep, yep. oh there they go. Just... Minute, so... But it'll be intriguing to see what the Union does. Uh, historically, they kind of just hold on the right side here or go into the corner on the left. Or hide back in their spawn, but Union appears to be taking a more offensive approach here. You know, a lot of times when we see this map played, we see the Union uh, eventually like counterattack all the way up to the CSA's fence, like up to their road. I wonder why they don't just start with that. Since, it, since even when uh, when it gets late in the round, we see that CSA has a tough time pushing Union off. That would be interesting. Mm -hmm. I wonder if it's just because CSA can get here quicker at the beginning of the round. I guess so. Be high risk, high reward. Well, maybe. I mean, if Union spawns there. I mean, maybe in pubs it's possible to pull off, but you got to get everyone to go. Oh, yeah. In pubs it'd be tough. Let's see, CSA's got HD going down the left side. Colquitt's third South Carolina to their right. I'm guessing this is JD. Uh, I was gonna say GD, or close enough. Jackson's division pushing down the right uh, center. And then we got LFL pushing down the right side. More CSA in the back. They haven't really pushed off yet. Um, Hayes Brigade going down the center and A and V shooting from a distance. Looking at our Union defense up front, you have the 28th, Pennsylvania. It always intrigued me why they had PVI for Pennsylvania. So you got 2nd Corps, 9th Corps, 20th Georgia, and Shenandoah regulars on the right side in the back center. You see the good old 13th Georgia. And then on the left side, you have 4th New Jersey and the New York Volunteers. Yeah. Uh, CSA. I don't know where CSA is going to hit. Uh, A and B starting to push to that left side. I feel like for an event like this, when there's no Steam chat and communication. It would be much easier to just blob up your whole team and just charge at the enemy. Because if you win, then the enemy is going to be confused because they got a coordinate with all the other officers via runners. It feels like it would just be easier to blob up and go in a direction. It would definitely be easier. And that would probably work for a lot of situations. It would maybe work on this map? I think it would for the most part. Well, I mean... I feel like you gotta have some level of secrecy. Because, I mean, in this map, you, you could easily see if the whole CSA team's going somewhere. Yeah, be good. But would they react? Hmm. Okay, 
because even if you don't have bayonets and you can't sprint, like CSA could hit this far right side and easily overwhelm this and then come up behind. Um, but that's some of that's out of bounds. So Colquitt's brigade is going behind Hayes' brigade, going to the right. I'm surprised more of these groups don't do uh, independent fire over volleys. Independent fire over volleys? Yeah. I think it would be a little bit more effective. I think overall independent fire is more accurate. Especially when no one has bayonets on. Yeah. I mean, you have a little more time to aim. The big thing with volley though is just the suppressing, but... That's probably the real only benefit of volleying, is just the suppression. And it looks cool. Oh yeah, it definitely does. I can, I'm not going to argue against that. <laughs> but Union's losing some tickets. Not a whole lot. I mean, five minutes through this match and Union's holding well, but it's not like the CSA's done anything. When will the CSA push for it? I think they're going to have to cap, just like you said. They're uh, pushing a gun. We got shade here. We also might want to load this before we're under fire. It's not loaded they're pushing that all the way forward. They're pushing a um, caisson with it. When will the CSA charge? Probably past 30. Yeah, it'll probably be once. Well, I don't think they they might they probably want to charge until they get their bayonets available. But if everyone can't have bayonets, there's yeah that because it's just longer it's just longer melees, more hitting killers moving forward, but. I don't know. Maybe it's because they can only they can't sprint, but then just go hit this right side. Hmm. There's supposed to be a thing eventually where if um, if you're hitting with a baseball bat, that it'll knock someone down. Oh. Uh, same way that it knocks down the um from a, from cannon fire. So like uh in the the winter event, Christmas event, we have the big candy canes. Yep. That's the same thing. That, that would be cool. I, that'd actually be really cool. Uh, it even says that on the new achievement. Does it? Yeah, it calls them uh, crushing weapons. Oh, oh okay. Getting, okay. Getting, getting knocked over by an explosion or crush, or crushing weapon. Huh. I, that, yeah, that, that'd actually be really cool. Right yeah, so I wonder if eventually, uh, if they have like 30 guys, they'll have like 10 people in the front, they'll be like the crushers, and they don't, <laughs> they don't have any bandits on, and they just go in and try that, and knock people down. That, that would be sick. I I wonder when they're going to implement blocking. Oh, I don't know about that. You don't think they will? No, they may. They've used the word parry before. Um, at least in like some really old uh, news release or something. Uh, but I wouldn't expect a melee thing anytime soon. A and V pushing the most forward we've seen the CSA go. I mean, eight minutes into this match. Union's almost halfway down to engaged. That's not quick enough. Union's actually starting to inch down this fence here. Oh, that being second core. Mm -hmm. I feel like if I was um, if I was CSA, I would just charge with a bucking ball, basically. Do they have a bucking ball on this map? I think someone does. Hmm. I think it's uh, 12 South Carolina that has it. I don't think Palmetto has it. Oh, metal doesn't seem like they would have it. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think sharpshooters would have a smoothbore. Yeah. 
Yeah, they get 41s and Wentworths. Let me see if the other ones have it. Nope, none of them have buck and bull. Interesting. Okay. They um, that'd be funny if just for an April Fool's Day, they, buck and ball could shoot out like fifteen pellets instead, and the, the spread was a lot more. Uh, I think yeah. that'd be very funny. And the uh, the, that... the knockback is like ten times normal. <laughs> yeah. It'd also be funny if um. Like the ragdolls can do damage as they fly. <laughs> you get knocked down by them. That's the crushing weapon they were talking about. Yeah. You like uh, buck and yeah, ball your like friendly into them. It's like bowling pins. <laughs> Cash money. What up, boys? Sprinting. Sprinting, sprinting. Yeah, now they can all sprint. Let's go. Um, yeah, there's not much you can do with that, I guess. Did you know on this day, 1862, they figured out how to sprint? Running was invented. Yeah, running was invented. They gotta go now. They, I mean, yeah, you can sprint now. You might as well charge down the left side. No one has bayonets. Union just did all the shots. Is that what Killer and the A is doing? Yeah, I mean, you might as well. Let's go. <laughs> Rest of the CSA's well, up and overing as well. Hey, um, spell back. Please, please charge. This will be very funny to watch. Please charge. No, charge. Not they're not charging. They're just gonna shoot. No. What does that mean? That'd be so funny to watch. Rest of the CSA's moving in. Union's just falling back right away. Oh, I want to see a bat charge. I loved what Jenkins Brigade did last round. That was funny. Oh, oh, we have a couple guys. They're batting their way in. Yes. Yeah, HD's <laughs> going in. <laughs> Praise Hood's division. Union's getting reinforced by 20th Georgia, 13th Georgia. Uh, second U.S. is still out in the field. Oh, that so was... it looks like CSA is going to take the left side. They have indeed. Union starting to fall back. Wow, that was that was beautiful. But Union's still not even at a gauge. They're almost 15 minutes into the match uh, because it starts at 40. The guys on the right haven't even pushed forward. Uh, Union taking the more historical approach now in this map. They're kind of hiding back here. That's what they usually do. Yeah, there's one one long line along the back straight fence. Not a bad way to kill time. There's a couple of Union guys. They're still hiding in this bush. I have the 28th. 28th PVI guys. Um, good for them. I it's the first time I've seen them. But more second core pushing out from spawn. CSA. CSA's got to cap the point or do something. They're pushing up on the right side. LFL. The 
some of these union guys, I don't know, never mind. Union's gonna hit engage soon. Everyone's finally gonna be able to get bayonets soon. Enemy is close on the Confederate artillery getting a hit there. Confederate artillery getting more hits. LFL repositioning. Some of the Union moving up on the right side here, that being second core, but. Wow. Let's see, where did AMV put that gun at? Uh, it looks like they didn't move it too far. If I had a lot of time, I'd move it on the right where you kind of get on the hill. Oh, uh, yeah. And you can shoot at that left corner. Could most certainly try that. A and B doing some volleys. A and B kind of getting shot up though. I mean, they're being shot up by a lot of people. But a lot of them nonetheless. 25 minutes. Union still not at engaged. CSA starting to move out into the open field. Uh, that being Colquitt's and 3rd South Carolina. A couple of hits there by Union. See, so they're starting to cap. I don't know if they want to or not. You can cap all the way here. Um, I guess so. That being Hayes Brigade, An HD guy here as well. Go ham. I wonder if um. Like, if, if you went down to breaking right now, I mean, not break, but engaged, and bayonets was enabled, and they, they recap the point and go back to battle ready, would everyone have to take their bayonets back off? I kind of hope that happens. Let's <laughs> <laughs> just see server message unfixed bayonets. Unfixed, no longer, no more bayonets. Um. I mean, it says until one side, may, no bayonets may be fixed until one side hits engage. So it seems like after someone hits engage, so it's not, yeah, it's I not guess so. technically, if both sides, Union's trying to retake this though. I... We'll see. Maybe Union's thinking the one with the bayonets now, but... CSA is kind of folding up into one big group. Union's kind of pushed forward successfully so far. Are they going to continue to go, though? They will. The fighter's kind of countercharging, kind of. But this is what the Confederates want. I mean, you're ahead on tickets. You want an engagement, Confederates going down to engage, but uh, Union's down a decent amount more, and I was going to say Confederates are going to win, but more Union pouring in. I think that's 13th Georgia there. They're getting beautiful shots. But as of now, it looks like Union's taking the ground. Both sides still alive, but they're just going to kind of shoot at each other from a distance. That cap was not intentional. And it looks like, at least for the moment, we're going to be back to the good old shootout. Yep. The little shootout of Hills Counterattack. Ah, uh, yes, yes. And Union falling back. I, you know, I, I would have thought that they would have tried to take the top of this hill. If they were going to try to hold it. Because it's not like you're going to beat the Confederates at tickets. No. I feel like they should have at least tried and take it. If they had the chance. Because you kind of hold an open field. Looking over at the, C uh, the CSA left side. And now, they, now CSA can just move up and fire over a hill like, they just, like they've already been doing. Yep. So Union's kind of just... 
they charged they charged out and then didn't hold any ground. Lori Schumacher here. Union, some unions going to the center of the field. Uh, this is probably up yep, the 28th. TBI. They're capping the point. But they're, they're just returning back to those bushes over there. Second core shifted over to the left side for Union. I guess to try and push LFL over, off over here. I, I don't get why the defenders would try to push out LFL from this position, but LFL is just folding. They're not holding, actually. <laughs> yeah, second Gore did it. Minimal casualties. Great report. I'm pursuing, though. <laughs> LFL's now holding. I, now they are. Oh, they're, they're not even going to see them. Oh, they should. <laughs> and second chord oh, basically wiping LFL. It was is not even close. CSA yeah. starting to move on to the point. Um, that being A and V. And it looks like they're going to cap. It's like Hayes Brigade's moving out to try and flank a second core. Coming up behind him. Yeah, they definitely don't outnumber. I like what they're doing. They're trying to get casualties. I'm surprised uh, Confederates aren't waiting to go down to taking losses. Great shot by Knight. Uh, yeah. I think CSC feels they can hold the point. All these, these Union guys, they're getting their loads, but they're in the middle of a charge. Point is capped. 12 minutes left. Oh, yeah. And Hayes Brigade wiping them. So this isn't your normal NA event. Uh, my guess is Union's just going to cap it. They're not going to try to push in the last stand. Um, but 12 minutes. Here we go. Well, Union's already sending some people to cap it back up. 15 of the York moving out. What they should do, if they're not going to try to push the enemy in the last stand, cap it right away. That's exactly what they need to be doing. Mm -hmm. I remember. I remember that was the the strategy was to retake the point right away. But now you almost want to keep the point and push them in the last stand. Yep. Second U.S. Cav moving up. Point is being decapped a lot. Some CSA moving onto the point to prevent that. It looks like some HD guys, but uh, there's a lot of Union there. What the Confederates should do, um, they should try to get on the Union sides and when Union recaps, charge in. Um, I don't know if they're really in a position to do that effectively, though. But they just gave the Union a lot of tickets. They, all that gain they just had. Gone. Unless they're going to try to hold it. Which uh, looks like they're going to try to. More Union pouring in, A and V all by themselves here in the center. They're going to lose that. And Union's going to recap this point. CSA, I think, just trying to lose tickets so that Union can't regain as many. Uh, and there we go. So Union going back up to halfway to engaged. Here comes his division now. Yeah, I, yeah no. I like it. I don't 
I don't see why they would just go in. They had good shots. Oh, and there's friendly already. <laughs> Confederate artillery. There's another reason. Yep, there's another reason why you don't go on point. And there's this juicy Union group on point that, in the direct center of point, where your artillery is just itching for a good shot. That's the. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna do two two events in the same weekend. Where the artillery is killing their teammates. That's going to be the uh, one uh, no. Hey, it was the infantry's fault with that one. The last one? That one that or, just oh, happened. this one? Oh. Yeah. Fair enough. But it looks like they, they pushed Union back. They're trying to recap. Some Union, Confederates falling back. Union's trying to recharge this out. I don't know why, but Confederates pulling back. Oh, man. That being it's second core. <laughs> you yeah, HG's going to come off the cap. I'm just going to try and keep Union in the field. And why is Union in the field? I don't know. <laughs> I should you know, just let CSA cap. Yeah. You know those tickets we yeah. just regained? Imagine if that never happened. No. At the very least, they should just hold back and shoot while HG tries to bait the cap. Especially since they're in the wide open. But some union pushing up on the far right side. Um... Ninth core here with the D level hundred Ta Gray. I can't imagine. Do you know how many hours he has corded? Um, let me look. It is uh, eight thousand. Holy crap! Yep. The, 8,000 hours. It's... What? Divided <laughs> by 24... What? He's played this game for almost a year. Uh, please put yeah. in the chat if any of that was um, AFK. Uh, holy... I could not imagine running a game for... A, oh, oh. Holy crap. <laughs> and uh, I've heard, like... You know, you have that many hours, and then I'm, I've never thought about it in terms of days. Yep. What was it? 333, I think I just did the map. Yeah. yeah. Union's about to hit taking losses here. 15 minutes left. Confederates are going to need to cap again. They're not on pace. Uh, at least the, every 10 minutes or so, the defending team needs to go down the stage. Yep. And so they should have hit taking losses. Now five minutes ago. I don't know why CSA just hasn't pushed a small group on cap. A and B is right next to it. CSA is going to have to cap or pick up the pace, uh, one or the other. I mean... Yeah, it is possible for them to get into breaking. <laughs> have to see how fast they do it. I mean, you might as well cap. The ticket disparity is very it's, close. Yeah, I mean, George is starting to move a little bit. I don't, I don't really like that. There they are, right there. Ah, yes, the good old 10 man double rank. That would have been funny if they capped Canada there. That would have been, that would have been oops. Yeah. Uh, 20th Georgia is now pushing forward as Union hits taking losses. They're pushing even closer. I think they're trying to get better shots, but they just expelled themselves. They are so lucky the artillery had a long fuse. Cut our artillery is trying to hit this corner, but they're missing by a little bit. 
Uh, reinforcing the 20th Georgia, you have the 2nd U.S. Cav, 59th New York there as well. Let's get on the Union left, 2nd uh, course pushing out, uh, assuming LFL, uh, and LFL and Hayes Brigade. Oh no, Hayes, please turn to your right. Oh. Uh, a and V pushing out towards the point. I don't know. I wish they would turn around. Well, maybe they just don't see it though. Uh, Second Corps is going to continue to go against LFL. Confederates had taken losses here. Yeah, I think this is Second Corps. I don't think they're going to win this one. Mm -hmm. not really light. And B's gonna take the point. Yeah, yeah. Prepare to move. And there it goes. Point is capped, seven minutes. Uh, we'll see if the Union moves as quickly as last time. To try to retake it. Mm -hmm. I think if, if this is a, a game with Steam Chat, Union would, would already be moving out. So they can coordinate like, instantly. If I were also, oh, you probably also, can't spawn camp with her. Also, you would see that uh, you would see Union running out of spawn. Make sure they don't get hit by Artie. But I think that's that the, rule. the rules here. Oh yeah. If I were an artillery officer in pubs, I'd do that. That'd be funny. I still, I still, I still want to do the thing. Uh, like if you're Union. Just take one of the officers and then just sit on top of the hill with your binoculars. And then just come in like that. That'd be fun. I wonder. I think it'd be like, yeah, one of the only maps you could really do that. Maybe some of the South Mountain ones you could do that. And then I guess Nicodemus. Cox's push. Yeah, you could do that as, as the defenders. Yeah. You I'm not sure there's any. Not sure any of them you can do as attackers. Well, I maybe mean, cold Cox, fights. Is... Well, if you get any fighting in that woods. Yeah, it's it's hard to see there. Maybe for some of the contention maps, it would be a. Oh. Would be well, a those bad maps idea. are so big. They are, but a lot of them you can see a good amount over. Oh. At least in some positions. Union hasn't moved out in two minutes. And here they go. Yeah, second core going for the point. Second core wants. Oh, Zaya goes down. More Union, second US Cav hopping over on the left, more hopping over on the right. Uh, and they are winning the point right now. And they're actually trying to charge out completely, even though they're winning the point. I, that's kind of surprising. I guess their tickets don't really matter, but you don't want to. Uh, Ooh, look really at this big, big CSA group on point now. Very huge. The whole CSA, all of Virginia has here. And some of them charging out, uh, Hayes Brigade charging in, more charging in on the top as well. CSA is just trying to outright win this. More Union pouring in from the left and right side. As of now, it looks like Union's, Union's gonna win. Union can hold this if they charged out. I think Union's going to win a lot of this. Whoever that group is, I think that's LFL probably needs to help their friendlies, but Union's going to win this. I guess Where LFL and JD. Union 
Yes, I take the point and don't stand directly under the icon. No, stand directly under the icon. <laughs> you'll, you'll get a special surprise. Mm -hmm. the two CSA flags are down. <laughs> so that's HD and A and V's flag that are down. Now, hear me out, Union. Let's do a little thing called a little overtime glitch. Not a glitch, but hmm? do a little trolling. Yeah. Um, they're going to go up to about uh, almost almost half at taking losses. In 12 minutes, I think CSA could actually give them the breaking at that point. Yeah. Come on, Confederate Artillery. You have a beautiful opportunity here. LFL's pushing the back of the Union. Now all their shots matter. <laughs> I don't know if they hit much. Oh, they're charging in. They're going to lose this, but will and yeah, I don't know, why, I don't know why they did that. Some of them are running away, actually. <laughs> uh, they're going to stay with their flag. If they were going to do that, they should have done that a minute ago. Because that mm -hmm. Union would not have regained as many tickets. Confederate uh, artillery, come on! You have a chance. The whole Union blob is here. I guess they're shooting kind of underneath. Well, regardless. Why is Union holding out here? There we go. Why? I'm just confused why they're holding out here. Maybe it's so when they hit breaking, they have good positions, but you can just pull back out when you hit breaking or whatever. Uh, pour through Jersey repositioning, uh, and it looks like they're all starting to move out here. I wonder if they have a rule against turtling. Nice shot. I, I don't think they do. No, probably, I mean, I wouldn't think, I don't think they would really turtle a whole lot. No, I don't think they will. I mean, they don't, they, they like to play more of a historical type of play, like the big double rank, all that jazz. Yeah. Um, and they don't, good or bad, whatever your opinion is, um. They don't really like to use the game mechanics to their fullest. Like, double ranks is historical play style, but in terms of, like, game mechanics, not the greatest thing. Um, yeah. Well, so I just don't think it's in the, the type of playbook you see with these events to do that. But Union's down on tickets compared to CSA. They're getting ever so closer. Uh, CSA should pre-cap. Some of the unions pushing forward here, uh, Ninth Corps. But yeah, I mean, oh, CSA's got a pre -cap. They're they're basically there. Something because that volley was not a volley. <laughs> Eight and a half minutes, they're gonna hit breaking. LFL still holding really far out here. Wait, that's LFL. Who's this? Then? More LFL. They're all here.
but and this is really just a, really just a waiting game at this point. I'm surprised no one's cap trying to pre-cap on either side, right? Union should cap so that it takes long for the CSA to take it. Confederates should pre-cap so that it's, they can take it right away. Yeah, I mean, well, owners, I think CSA should at least push, get into breaking. Oh yeah, I mean, push I, forward, I, cap the point. You yeah, I also, I also wasn't listening to what you said, just so you know. <laughs> no, you're fine. Just saying why everyone should try to be pre-capping. Or both mm -hmm. sides should try to cap a little bit. In a pre-cap to scare him a little bit. Yeah. If anything, it might bait him to come out. Yeah. Well, uh, we see one CSA group. Uh, maybe they're just following. Oh no, HD is moving out. Critif in front with Killer. Love to see that. And it looks like Killer is going to be capping the point. HD kind of taking their shots from a distance here. And they're capping. Union's going to have to move out. Union can wait it. I think Union should try to wait this out at least once. So that if the CSA accidentally pre-cap or fully cap. That's that kind of thing. HD should have, uh, or someone should have just charged the union group that's on the left. Both sides have oh, break there you and go. that's going to be game. Yeah, mm -hmm. I guess that's the thing. You charge out there, you hit breaking. CSA wins that. They win the game, but I don't, I, I like what union did. If they don't hit pre, uh, breaking and CSA fully cap the point, then, uh, that's to your advantage. Union's charging out. Doesn't even matter. Quoted your thoughts of the round. Um, uh, I guess that was kind of just a standard match. Um, just Union didn't really counterattack that much. And I think they can, they probably should have. That's pretty much all I got. Yeah. The uh, new rule set definitely interesting. Definitely hurts the attackers a lot, but um, I mean, hey, the attackers won on this map. More props to them. Uh, I mean, yeah. I mean, CSA just kind of did exactly what they needed to do. I I can't really think of anything that the Union could have done better, but I'm really tired right now, so that could be why as well. I guess the Union pushed out a couple times on the flanks when it was unnecessary. But, yeah, thank you all for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe for more. Go hit the join button beneath the video. Support the channel. See all the perks there. We'll see you in the next episode. Have a good night.